Hi Sagittarius, so this is your April reading. So we're going to look at April's overall lesson, your money, your career, your love life, um, how other people affect your April, your emotional self, and your crystal of the month. Let's go ahead and get started. So Sagittarius, I'm really excited about your crystal of the month because um, when I picked it up, it was, I don't know, I got all tingly and like I feel all this pressure in my head, so it's definitely doing its job. Hey, it's a powerful one. I don't know if it was because of the way that I cleansed it and charged it for you or what, but holy shit, it's effective. I'm looking at it down here and I'm just like, ooh, getting all these, these vibes. Okay, anyway, so April, Sagittarius. Uh, what's going on? And by the way, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and if you're spying on a Sagittarius. Um, okay, so two main lessons that are going on here, but they involve all of your chakras because all of those colors are there. And it's a lesson um, in kind of purifying them. So the first thing, you're going to acknowledge all of your misdeeds and, you know, your good deeds alike and kind of like love them all as lessons. Like everything that you either did a really great job on, like, yay, I'm going to keep doing that. All the things you maybe weren't very successful in, you're like, okay, but I learned something and I'm going to do it different this time. So the other lesson for you is empathy and understanding the emotions of other people. So not just understanding how they feel or why they could feel that way, but almost sharing in the, that emotion with them. Okay. So those are lessons that you'll be learning this month. So why is it that these things are coming up? And they say because you're coming into this place of great emotional balance that will reap um, very good rewards for you on the physical plane. You know, as you are focused on calming your own emotions and coming into this like very solid place and opening up your heart chakra, um, wonderful, beautiful things are going to grow out of that. So what's going on in your career or money sector? And they're saying having a lot of confidence this month is going to be awesome for you. You could be a magnet for abundance. <laughs> um, people are going to look at you with respect. Um, basically, I love the Empress card because I always feel like if the sun stopped shining, the Empress would take its place, right? People um, love it. Like, they love the Empress. Sometimes they're intimidated by the Empress energy, um, maybe afraid to talk to them because they are so radiant, but they are creative, they are nurturing, they are talented, they are sexy, they are appealing. So people, you're going to be shining out all of this energy in your career and money sector. And so people might want to just give you their money, which is a really auspicious sign for um, those people who are in sales. What else is going on? So they're saying this is actually fantastic because things might not have been as secure as you would have liked recently, and you're sort of releasing any abundance blocks or anything that you've had by embracing this energy. You know, like there's nothing to be afraid of as far as the future is concerned because all the things in the past, we're leaving them in the past. Coming back to that major lesson of, okay, so... Everything I did right, I'm going to keep doing it. Everything that didn't work, change the plan, you know? And so it's really working for you and paying off in your money and career. In regards to your love life, Sagittarius, um, being very direct about, like, the kind of changes that you're making. So, you know, when it comes to your love life, it's like, okay, you know what? Maybe in the past, I've been with people who treated me a certain way. I'm not going to stand for that anymore. Um, these are the things specifically that I do or do not want in a relationship. And you know what? If you don't encompass those qualities, bye, bitch. That's just how it goes. So those are all good things for you because you are also, with that Empress energy, um, very attractive, as I mentioned. So you're not going to be um, drawing in necessarily people who are just in it for the lustiness anymore. I feel like a month or two ago you guys had a reading where it was about, you know, kind of in attracting all of these people who are just after sexual um, energies and stuff. And, you know, it was your choice if you wanted to engage in that or not. Um, but what they're saying is now the tide is sort of turned where you're able to draw in something more long-term, longer-lasting, or 
if um, you're still drawing those energies in, you can say, you know what, that's not exactly what I'm looking for or what I want. Because it looks to me that the majority of you watching this video um, do want to be in a relationship. So if you're already in a relationship, I would be a little bit concerned that maybe... Um, your sex life could have a few issues there, but a lot of those are um, not tied to any sort of spiritual uh, issue like a block, like a sacral chakra block or, you know, a heart chakra block. It's just about moving on from, you know, something that used to work for, for you into new energy. So maybe your vibration is raising or changing and you and a previous partner just aren't aligned anymore and so you're not as attracted to them or perhaps it's like okay you know what like all of these little fun flings they used to work for me now I want something longer term but there's definitely like an emotional shift towards finding something better and this could even just be like having a better more connected relationship with an existing partner it's saying um you haven't always been in the relationships that served your highest good Okay. And I mean, I don't think anybody has. And <laughs> it's funny because as I was like starting to shuffle here, a little card flipped out and flipped back in saying, um, maybe for some of you, <laughs> the reason was, um, it was the seven of wands where he's like defensiveness. They're saying some of you, maybe some of you are going to be defensive when I say that, <laughs> especially you're going to say, but the bitch just said, like, we're learning to love everything as a lesson. Um, yeah, yeah, but maybe you stayed too long in relationships, and that was the lesson, right? Like, you, ha you haven't always been with people who were um, the best choice for you. And they say, but to be honest, when we're talking about this, it's really not all that deep, so whatever. Um, how are other people going to be affecting your April? And it says, well, other people aren't um, maybe radiating the same kind of creative, enthusiastic, like in control, dynamic energy that you are. And so it's going to drive them a little bit crazy. They may be a little bit jealous of you. Um, and so, you know, that might create unfortunate or unlucky circumstances for you, but you just keep doing what you're doing. Like don't let their energy affect you because big positive changes are coming for you. Um, despite the fact that maybe not everybody is, um, kind of at the same level or, as you, or maybe they're not happy for you, okay? But all that's showing you is that these are not kind of, the, the, like what I'm saying in love relationships too, is that maybe these are not the kind of people that you want to keep around, you know? So this is about, this month in particular is going to be that kind of a month where you sort of look at all of the people around you and you say, you know what, I want to be more like that person or I want to be more like that person. And you only surround yourself with people that you aspire to be more like, okay, um, because of their positive qualities, their loving energies. Um, it could be sort of, you know, a tough month in shedding people from your life that aren't for your highest good. Uh, but ultimately, you know, any negative feelings they have, is not going to affect you that much. Like, it does feel unfair, but you just keep doing what you're doing because you are on the right path. You are headed towards your happily ever after, and you're going to get there very quickly if you can recognize right away who does and who doesn't serve, you know, your highest good or help you along your path because those people just have to go. Um, in regards to your emotional self, they're saying you put some hard work into, like, really recognizing and confronting and dealing with your emotions. And, you know, that can be a little bit exhausting, can it? Especially in a Mercury retrograde, we naturally feel a little bit more tired and all of these things pop up for us to re-examine. But they're saying, um, don't quit right before you reach that happily ever after point. They say all of these big changes, letting old things die, old people and energies go away to step through new doors is a really good thing for you. And they're like, really, you've already done most of the work. It's it's really not that deep. You're already on your way. Keep doing what you're doing. So it seems like you're on a really great path, Sagittarius. Now, your crystal of the month is peacock ore. Isn't that beautiful? It's like a, all of these pretty colors in there. Um, so it's quite heavy. What I like about this one is um, not only does it help you like on a mental level, it makes your thinking more clear. It gives you greater intuitive awareness and things like that. It gets rid of all of your doubt. It gets rid of your feelings of lack, which is really important when we're shedding all of this old shit, right? Like, oh, well, maybe I don't want to 
you know, cut this friend out of my life or cut this person out of my life because even though they're not for my highest good, because then I'll feel lonely. And it's like, no, 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 no. This is going to help you not feel a lack there. It's actually going to make you feel better for doing so. So it dissolves any energy blocks that you have. It increases your self-esteem. Um, it protects you also from like psychic attack. So this is going to be a very protective stone, especially when those, remember how I was saying like other people might have things to say or, you know, they might be a little bit jealous and conniving, but it's actually not going to affect you. This is one of those stones that's going to protect you from that. Um, it brings harmony and spiritual alignment for you. So it's going to help you to stay on that path towards that happily ever after. Helps with grounding. Um, soothes any emotions, keeps you calm, which is um, kind of the energy you're going to be living in this month, where it's like, really, it's not that deep. You know, they said that over and over again. They're like, it's really not that deep. <laughs> so anyway, there's lots of other things that this crystal does. You can get one um, from your local rock shop. Um, the ones that I have pulled for you are already cleansed and recharged, and then they come with a playlist on like multiple ways that you can use these crystals to your highest advantage, and shipping's free, so rad. Okay, love and light and see you in May. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!